Hi, this is Shannon. This is Cycle One, Week 11, Tin Whistle. So we started the Tin Whistle with Week 7, and we are going through Week 12. We study the Tin Whistle in all three cycles, so Cycle 1, Cycle 2, and Cycle 3, and do the same thing. So you can definitely apply any of the things I talk about in this video to Cycle 2 and Cycle 3 as well. So if you are new to my channel, I am a homeschooling mom of three little ones, five, three, and one, and we do classical homeschooling, and I get to tutor the abecedarians, so the younger kids, the four through six-year-olds. And so these ideas are with them in mind, but you can definitely adjust things for older kids. This is week 11, and we are talking about the note names and the D scale. So first, before you get into this, you could ask the kids, how many letters are in the alphabet? Does anybody know? 26. Does anybody know how many letters are in the musical alphabet? Hmm, see if anybody knows that. So the musical alphabet starts with A. We go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So there are seven letters in the musical alphabet. And then after G, we go back to A. Then you can show the kids a staff again on the board. I made this sheet that you can give to them in a second, but you can show them the staff, talk about how many spaces the staff has, how many lines. Remember we did the spaces song last week and the line song. So it goes like this. If you didn't see that video or don't remember, it goes, there is a staff that has four spaces. One, two, three, four, and on these spaces go the notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Let's count them one more time. One, two, three, and four. You can have them, you know, review dynamics too by saying, okay, can we sing a little bit of that in forte or what would mezzo forte be? That'd be a little bit quieter than forte mm -hmm. or piano could talk about, okay, let's sing the line song. Let's see what that would sound like. There is a staff that has five lines, one, two, three, four, five. And on these lines, there are the notes, one, two, three, four, five. 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 Let's count them one more time. One, two, three, four, five. So you can sing those for the kids to review that and just sing them in different volumes to review the dynamics. That would be good to do at the beginning. You can also review parts of the tin whistle again. So remember we sing a song to the tune of the Muffin Man. It goes like this. Do you know the tin whistle, the tin whistle, the tin whistle? Do you know the tin whistle? These are its parts. Barrel, fiddle, mouthpiece, finger holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, left hand on top. So those are good things to review at the beginning. So then you can show them this sheet again. You can have this drawn on your board and talk about the notes on the lines. We start with E down here, G, B, D, F and talk about how we can remember every good boy does fine because the first letter of each word reminds us of the notes. can also show them the notes that are on the spaces, F-A-C-E, like face. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this out for each child and let them draw the notes. And this will take, you know, a few minutes because I have little kids. So um, I'm going to have this on my board. I'm going to walk around and help them and kind of walk them through. Okay, we're going to draw the notes on the lines here and then on the spaces here and give them a few minutes to do that. Then after they've had a chance to do that, I'm going to point out sharp and how it looks like it has sharp edges, sharp changes the sound of the note a little bit and flat looks like a balloon kind of went flat, helps us remember flat. So those both change the sound of the notes. Then we're going to also talk about the D scale. So there's this diagram or similar diagram in your foundations guide too, but I just made this one that you can download for free and I'll link in the description where you can find all these. So this is just the D scale. So we start at D and end at D. So I'm going to show them for the note D, we would cover all our holes on our tin whistle. For E, we would cover five of them, etc. 
And so I want them to notice that the lower the note is, the more holes we cover, and the higher the note is, the fewer holes we cover. I'm not going to have them try to play this. We're just going to talk about it. With older kids, you could probably have them try to play some of these notes. These guys, I'm just going to talk about it. If you have time, you could have them, again, practice putting their left hand on top, right hand on the bottom, and maybe just trying to play a note with all the fingers covered. You could have them take their fingers off all of them and see if they can tell a difference in the sound, things like that. So that is what we're going to do for week 11. Again, I'll have these worksheets that I showed linked down below where you can download them. I also have all the lesson plans and activities I talk about starting at week seven through week 12 in a packet that's free that you can download. I'll link in the description how you can get that too. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for week 12, our last week of Tin Whistle.